Nomadic Fanatic, Eric here, doing an update. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, I am a big Seahawks fan. How can you not be? Living in the Northwest, the Seahawks play. Uh, they're hosting the 49ers tomorrow for the NFC Championship game. The winner goes on to the Super Bowl to face either Denver or the Patriots. So, it's a big game tomorrow. I plan to watch it. <laughs> um, one really cool update I have is... Um, well, there's actually several updates. Um, I shot my first interview today. I drove up, up to Seattle, the Ballard area, and uh, talked with a guy named Dale who lives in a 20-foot boat. And um, I did an interview with him using my new microphone system. I got a new lapel uh, microphone. And um, one, although I already recorded him doing it and listened to it, I love the improvement. I also wanted to show that difference here on my YouTube videos too. So this is the way all my videos have been shot in the past. It's just using the onboard microphone. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break away here and I'm going to show you some experts of what it sounds like with the wireless lapel mic. So here's the difference. All right, and then here's the sound we get with my clip-on lapel microphone. I think it does change a little bit if you talk down into it or if you're way away from it like this, but for the most part, I'm, I, I'm really comfortable with the sound. I mean, it's a lot crisp, a lot clearer. And we'll go back to the other video and show you what it sounds like without this. And then back to without using that lapel, just using the onboard microphone. I, I don't know if you can hear, you can hear a lot more other sounds that are going on. Now, as you can see, it takes out a lot of that other ambient noise that's going around and focus it just down to this. And I'm only about five feet away from the camera, but still, what a huge difference it makes. And then again, back to just the microphone that's built into the camera. This is what you hear, and there's just black and day difference as far as I can tell. So yeah, the verdict is out. This costs $23 uh, shipped on eBay, including uh, shipping and taxes and everything. So I'm going to try to incorporate this microphone into all of my future videos, even though it's a little bit of a pain, um, extra setup and stuff like that. And one of these days I'm going to start like scratching it, making weird noises, you know, if you touch it and do stuff, it's going to mess up the audio, but I will try to not do that and try to keep that in mind since I don't have anybody, you know, listening to the audio live, making sure it works. But uh, yeah, so I had my interview with Dale up in Seattle, and that's one of many to come. I'm still going to be filming for the next eight weeks, and I posted ad on, on Craigslist all over Seattle, Olympia, and the coast, you know, trying to get anybody who is nomadic or they live in some other alternate dwelling that is small and just, you know, strives away from the big house mansion or the side-by-side -side houses that all look the same trying to get any perspective. Um, if you're interested, if you're in the Northwest or if you're coming through the Northwest in the next eight months and you would like to be featured in that documentary, you should definitely email me, uh, let me know, um, or send me a message or even a comment after this video and we can get in touch. And I'd love to hear from you, hear, hear your story and put you in my documentary. So filming will end right around the end of March and then I'll start post-production and I hope to get that film out late June. The other thing, new thing to update is um, my TV, my new TV. So I've been watching movies, DVDs, and shows on YouTube just through my laptop uh, when I get Wi-Fi. But um, I have a huge amount of DVDs. I have an entire huge briefcase full of, of DVDs that I never watch because I don't want to load them into my laptop because then I can't use my laptop for anything else. You know, if I'm watching a movie, I can't go online, I can't write anything, I can't work on anything else. I missed having the opportunity to be able to just have a movie on going in the background. So what I did was I went to Walmart and I got this bad boy. It's a 22 inch Vizio flat screen TV. And then I also bought this mounting bracket kit and I mounted it onto this cupboard and then I sealed the cupboard so it won't open or close. It's just sealed like that. And so now it'll rotate so that no matter where I'm at in the RV, if I'm sitting down in my chair and looking up, I can see it. When I go to bed and I'm up in the cab over area, I can tilt it over into that area towards my pillow and watch TV or a movie before I go to bed. So I'm psyched about it. It's awesome. Um, Jax absolutely loves it. I turned on the first movie we watched was Ice Age and he was just glued to the TV and just cracked me up. He's such a crazy cat. <laughs> He's easily amused too. He um so we had our appointment at Tumwater Veterinary Hospital on Friday and it it was his annual checkup but but it ended up it ended up going really bad actually. He is he's overweight. 
Um, he's gained about three pounds since his last checkup three months ago. He is actually up to 22.8 pounds. He is bigger than some small dogs. He is a beast. He's a huge boy. Um, however, he also has some health concerns. He has ear infections in both his ears. He has uh, some flea dirt on his back that caused a skin irritation. And he has tapeworms. <laughs> and I think that was pretty much it. Yeah, so I had to buy a bunch of medication. I'm supposed to treat his ears like three times a day for the next two weeks and then bring him back in two weeks. Um, they made me upgrade to the Revolution brand uh, flea meds. I had been going with the Hearts Pro stuff at Walmart. It's like a three month supply is like 12 bucks. And this Revolution stuff is $29 for one month. So cost wise, it's like, geez. But um, I take care of my cat, you know, before I take care of myself. So uh, we're going to, we, we, we did it. We already bought it <laughs> and we're going to try it out. Um, you know, cause I want him to be healthy. I want him to be happy. So, so that's where I'm at right now. <clears throat> I'm going to keep shooting some more videos for this documentary, but it's not going to get in the way of the videos I make in the RV. Um, I do plan to take the RV out at least once a week. So that'll give me a chance to try mounting the camera to a few other experimental places, uh, for perspective and point of view and you know you guys can comment on that and tell me what you like while I'm driving or what's more interesting or what kind of shots I can maybe put into my interviews so yeah that's about it for now go Hawks nomadic fanatic talk to you guys later